Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to talk about the filter function in DAX, which is a way that you can filter your uh, data, your table, and then do, do the calculation based on that, which is quite often used in uh, DAX measures. Let's see how this can work. The filter function is a tabular function that, uh, which which means it returns a table, uh, cannot be used directly in a measure, uh, but it can be used inside a function inside the measure, or it can be used as a creating for a calculated table. The way that this function works is that it accepts two parameters, quite simple. Uh, the first parameter is table. Um, it can be uh, one of the existing table in your model or it can be a virtual table which means uh, another function that generates the table as an output can be used here as well mm, and then the filter expression is uh, uh, any DAX expression that returns a boolean value which means true or false uh, whatever expression that returns a true or false can be used there uh, so one simple example of using um, uh, using filter is to create uh, a table for it. Here I have uh, an expression, uh, a very simple expression that returns uh, all records from the product table when their color is red. Uh, the way that I can write it is filter the table name and the column name equals red. Uh, for example, if you are coming from SQL background, using filter is like your where statement. It is saying that uh, from the product table where color is equal to red. Uh, quite simple to understand it. And uh, DAX is not case sensitive, so red capital or case doesn't matter unless you use some specific exact matching functions, which I have explained about that in another blog and video. Check the link down in the description below. Uh, also, this file and the code expressions can be downloaded in from my blog down in the description below. Um, make sure you go and check it out. So what happens is that the entire DIM product table has something like 606 rows, but this uh, returned table is only 63 rows. And if I look at the color column of this, it is all red. Uh, filter does not change the columns the table so it returns exactly the same table structure exactly the same column order same columns it doesn't change anything in the columns it just changed the number of rows it reduced the rows in our table now this expression can be also uh, like a little bit more uh, than one simple expression for example here i have another example that i said when the color is red and two and percent is and to vertical line is or or alternatively you can use and or or functions similar to the way that you use it in excel um, i normally prefer to use the operator it makes it much simpler uh, to read the code uh, so it is saying that the color is red and size unit measure which is another column in this table is centimeter uh, so the result is that the size unit measure code is centimeter and the color is red. This returns a table of 60 rows. Uh, the filter function, as I said, doesn't change the columns. But if you want to change the columns, for example, you are not interested in all of this table. You are interested only to get uh, specific columns. For example, you want just the column name or the product key or something like that. You can use this function as an input of another function, a table manipulation function, which actually manipulates columns, uh, something like select columns. Here I have another example that first I do the filter. This filter part is exactly similar to what you have seen in the previous example. Give me all products that the color is red and size unit measure code is centimeter. It is used to create a variable. This is a virtual table now. This variable is used inside another function, select columns, which I have a separate video about that. Go and check it out. The link is down in the description below. Uh, from that virtual table, it just select the product name column and call it product name as the column name. So this is a table with 60 rows, but only the product name of that table. This is how uh, a table uh, parameter can be used in another function. Now, uh, 
the, the main usage of many table parameters is when you use it inside a DAX measure because then it would consider all of your slicers, other visuals, and dynamically evaluate the calculation. Here I have a calculation which I can just show you how this works. In this calculation, I uh, used the same filter expression. This time, however, I used OR. Uh, so I'm saying that give me the sub tables of product table when the product color is red or this means or uh, size unit measure code is centimeter this is used as an input of the calculate table mm, because if i write those calcul those uh, conditions in the calculated table they would be considered as and rather than or uh, so um, i create a filter result first then i put that as an input as a filter input of the calculate table and then i calculate the sales of that and here is what you see as a result so it is a very simple function to use. It is used quite often inside DAX measures um, as a virtual table. Um, uh, you just need two parameters. The first parameter is a table. The second parameter is whatever expression you have that returns a Boolean result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.